Hi guys, just want to pick up on that um, uh, that upper room thing again. You know, can you imagine? Jesus says, "I'm on my way. I'm going, um, and um, they're going to kill you, and they're out to get you, and they're going to cause you a lot of harm and a lot of grief." But just stay. I'm sending someone else. I'm sending the comfort. <laughs> So in the middle of that chaos, in the middle of that Roman rule, in the middle of that despair, in the middle of those Christians being targeted, um, yet they got boldness when they prayed. They got boldness when the Holy Spirit came on them. And, um, you know, there's I've been reading a lot through Daniel. I think I've said that several times on other videos. But Daniel got a boldness. He was 15 when he got into captivity, and yet he had a boldness that enabled him to stand up to the king. Nebuchadnezzar was a nasty piece of work. Just read about him historically. And yet David and his mates had the courage of their convictions and they had been discipled well enough by their parents, I believe, that they were able to stand up and say, no, 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 we're not going to bow down to those things. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge. Um, and, you know, from that, you do what you got to do. We all go through struggles in life. It might be when we're growing up, it might be uh, without a dad in the home or without a mum in the home, or you could have lost your parents or something like that. You go through that, but you've got to know that God is your refuge. You've got to go to him in prayer. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to do what you've got to do. So don't be afraid to commit yourself to prayer because boldness comes out of prayer because uh, prayer is intimate. I said before that that men like to... Uh, have an object. Uh, women are relational, so they find it easier to pray, but we've got to learn as men to pray. You become intimate with the one to whom you pray, which is God the Father, for whom you pray. You know, when you meet someone and you've been praying for them, yeah, and there's an intimacy, there's a relationship there, and with whom you pray. So when you pray with your wife or your partner or your kids, there's an intimacy, a spiritual intimacy that, that um begins to take place when you pray together in church that's why it's important to come to prayer meetings on a sunday guys get in there don't be slack lead your family in that your kids will love you for it in the future your wife will love you for it now so just be encouraged to do that commit to prayer boldness and strength come out of prayer uh, psalm 139 talks about the 10 unchangeable things that we can't change we can't change our ethnicity we can't change our looks our skin color where we're born what birth order first second third fourth whatever but yeah I'll, you just go look for that for yourself and finally just ephesians 2 10 you are a masterpiece you have been crafted so have i so you know let's stop whining about what's happening out there and let's get into prayer and let's change the world we live in bless you heaps you're doing really great bye